Hello everyone and welcome to our backyard for a tour of the Eradicator, our roller coaster. We built it in a couple weeks here. Uh, it's quite easy to do. I recommend it to everybody actually. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, construction is very simple. Anyone can do this. You just get a bunch of 2 by 4s cut them all the same length. In this case, I set them on my chop saw and they're all exactly 11 inches. Get some 3 inch good exterior grade screws. Countersink them, that's really crucial. See how these are flush? Important. Sink them right into your 2x4. That's how you build the track. Uh, we build it in 20 foot lengths to avoid joints as much as possible. Once you've got the track lengths built, you just sort of brace them up with pretty much whatever you got. We started back here. This is from our first couple days. We didn't really know what we were doing here, but we started to figure it out over about a week. Uh, we used 4x6 here and there. Sometimes we had 2x6s. We used whatever we had. Uh, it used to come right where this joint is, come back down, and then go up to the top of the wall there. But the neighbor got pissed off. Kids were hanging out on his wall. It's his wall, privacy wall, he says. Uh, so we decided to turn it and have it go up to my son's tower. So now he can't miss it. He gets to hear it all day long. Um, yeah, now we've got uh, four by sixes bracing. It's really sturdy. Got pretty good here. This is about a week's worth of building. So we were pretty good at doing it. We had to use a heat gun here to make this turn. You could do it without a torch, but it was handy. Uh, you can see a couple places where I got a little too close, maybe burned it a little bit, but that's okay because I have designs on painting the whole thing anyway, so they'll go away. Uh, as far as the joints go, pretty simple. You can put a uh, put a smaller piece of PVC in between these and drill them in, or as we do, we just use either a 2x8 or 2x10 or 12, whatever we got laying around, and screw them in. And it, They don't have to be perfect, you know, they should be pretty good so that the cart doesn't bounce on them. This is kind of ugly because we've done a lot of shimming and adjusting to help us make this curve. Uh, I eventually might just take this out and replace it with a nice one, or I might just fill it all and paint it. Uh, down here, we're starting to raise up. This is a 60 degree drop. It's about nine feet up. It starts at the top of my son's play structure, which is actually pretty cool in its own right. We built this all from scrap material from uh, job sites. I'm a contractor so I have a lot of junk lying around. Uh, up here we get a view of the cart. The cart is sort of temporary at this point. Uh, I have designs on welding a good one but we're just trying to figure it out now. See it's got skate wheels on the top with good bearings so they're pretty smooth. The side is just casters because they don't get any weight on them and then the bottom I just epoxied some uh, one inch PVC to it just as a fail safe so it doesn't fall off. It's only making one right hand turn so it doesn't need them on the other side, only on this side. I don't have a rider today because my son is at school and my daughter is pretending to take a nap. She's just playing in her room but here we go. Here's, have fun. The track is about 87 feet long and uh, it's a ton of fun. Thanks for watching. 